Lots of smoke containing human remains floating over the South Bay. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson and I'm Lindsay Pena. A furnace door failed to close at a crematorium, sending heavy smoke into the air. 10 News reporter Travis Rice is joining us from National City. Travis, what's it like out there right now? Well, the smell has since gone away, but it's still a little unsettling given the fact of where that smoke was coming from. When all goes to plan with the cremation, you don't even see the gases emitted from the crematorium, but that was not the case this afternoon. A cremation turned emergency situation in National City. Firefighters say a furnace door to the crematorium was not closed all the way when the system turned on. The oven ran for 30 minutes, sending human ashes mixed with smoke and other chemicals before crews got the matter under control. I was kind of kind of worried. I didn't know what was going on. Michael Goldberg works next to the Cortez family crematorium. I saw some um, white smoke, black smoke coming up from the smokestack. It was going directly across the parking lot all the way down the street almost. He says it was a new smell to him. It was like a mint, like a mint smell. I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know how to describe it. I've never smelled it before. It didn't smell like a fire. It smelled totally different. The crematorium has heat detectors, which activated automatic fire extinguishers during the incident. Fire officials say the extinguishing agent is likely what people smell. The health department says there is no risk to the public since the smoke lasted about 30 minutes. That's kind of disturbing. No injuries either, but now even more people know there's a crematorium here. I just hope everybody's okay and, uh, you know, it doesn't happen again. Cortez Cremations remains operational, or at least that's what they told us earlier today. And again, it bears repeating that there is no public health risk because the smoke dissipated so long ago. The San Diego County Air Pollution Control Division is investigating. Live in National City, Travis Rice, 10 News.